Le'Veon Bell makes his decision as he is now officially the newest member of the New York Jets. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, some NFL here to talk about NFL free agents and talk about the biggest free agent out there this offseason. Le'Veon Bell finally making his decision to sign with a team. And the team is, of course, like I mentioned, the New York Jets. So here to break down this signing, what I think about it, who won this signing in terms of Le'Veon Bell, in terms of the Jets, talk about the money involved, how much is guaranteed, how much is the total money, everything else in between. Before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that big red subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to grow this channel a lot so every single subscriber helps me out and go ahead and follow me on my social media account links down below for my twitter and my ig very active on both so you don't want to miss out on that because i'll be tweeting sometimes the updates and stuff like that um with that being said let's talk about this signing how significant it is and who came out on top and was this a good signing for the new york jets so let's start right away with the numbers it's a four-year deal worth approximately 61 million dollars with about and this is a key number here 35 million dollars in guaranteed so 61 million total 35 million guaranteed okay and before i go any further let me just say this i was on the twitter sphere you know again follow me on twitter and i was seeing all these reporters and analysts talking about Le'Veon bell's going to the bears because they were in the mix for it the ravens uh, you know packers bunch of teams obviously interested in Le'Veon bell and i said listen guys it's very simple. If you want to know where Le'Veon Bell is going, follow the money. And that is exactly what ended up happening, okay? Le'Veon Bell took the most money, okay? The whole reason he sat out last year was because of what? Money, okay? Bingo. So it wasn't hard to know that, okay, which team has the most money this offseason? It was the New York Jets, really. And he can thank, and I'm saying Le'Veon Bell can thank uh, Anthony Barr because Anthony Barr pulling out from the Jets at the last second, let them have all that money back that they obviously reallocated to uh, Le'Veon Bell and gave him all that money. So that's part of the reason why. So you can thank Anthony Barr for that. But it was so easy to predict that Le'Veon Bell was just going to go wherever he was offered the most money. It didn't matter if it was Buffalo, Miami, you know, name any other bad team in the NFL right now. Le'Veon Bell was going to go where he was offered the most money, and that's where he went. So that doesn't surprise me. There was a lot of talk about the Bears as a possibility. And here's the thing. I told you guys I made a video about this. You can go check that out. I, I, I wasn't a big fan of the Bears pursuing Le'Veon Bell just because I don't believe in paying a running back this much money in today's league. I just feel like running backs are very replaceable, and I don't want that much of my salary allocated to that position okay i think running backs are a diamond a dozen you can find them in the draft you can find them in free agency at much less but again let's talk about Le'Veon bell who is of course a game changer and arguably the best running back in the nfl and how does he fit in with the new york jets so i'm going to talk about the jets first and then i'm going to talk about the deal itself for Le'Veon bell so for the jets i think this is a great signing and i know that sounds weird with me saying that because i just said I wouldn't sign him, you know, if I was the Bears or uh, an other team like that. But every situation is different. With the Jets, they had the salary to spend. And so, um, like I mentioned, with Anthony Barr backing out at the last second, Jets all had all this money, and they threw it at Le'Veon Bell. And they have a clear need at running back uh, with their now franchise quarterback, Sam Darnold. They obviously wanted to give him a weapon in the backfield, and they've got one in Le'Veon Bell. So I like this signing for the New York Jets because it addresses a clear need and they had the salary cap space. Do I believe in paying a running back this much money? I don't, but I can still say that it is a fit for a certain team, okay? The Jets clearly don't have a great running game and Le'Veon Bell is going to make life so much easier for Sam Darnold and company and he's just going to open up a lot of things for them and it's just a great fit. You know, all the other teams, I really didn't see a better fit really with uh, the New York Jets that I saw with other teams. I thought I saw the Jets being sort of the best fit for him. So now you got Sam Darnold, you've got Le'Veon Bell, who you've invested obviously a significant amount of money, and you've sort of got your core really. So overall for the Jets, I'm going to say it's a solid signing and I like it, okay? Now let's talk about Le'Veon Bell. And I'm going to say it straight up, Le'Veon Bell played his cards wrong, okay? 
He tried to play chess, but ended up playing checkers because here's the thing. The Steelers deal was better than this. Okay, last year, if you guys don't remember, let me refresh your memory on what the Steelers offer was for Le'Veon Bell before he decided to not take it and sit out the entire season. They offered him $70 million over five years, $33 million in guarantees, $45 million over the first three years. So really, um, if we're picking, you know, uh, sort of details here, it's about, what, $2 million more guaranteed but less overall in terms of the tenure of the contract. Obviously, there's incentives there. But the better deal was the Steelers. It was. And Le'Veon Bell ended up taking a less significant deal because he thought he was going to get paid more on the market. He didn't get, you know, the range that he was looking for. Uh, the deal for the Jets, again, looks nice because of the fact that they had all that money to offer, but it still was not as good of a deal as Le'Veon Bell thought he was going to get in free agency, and it wasn't as good of a deal as what the Pittsburgh Steelers were offering him. So this just goes to show you, with these guys that sit out, man, that's why it's a risk, because not only did he lose the contract in terms of the long-term nature of it, because it was a five-year deal with the Steelers versus a three versus a four-year deal with the Jets, but also the fact that he lost out on that 14 plus million just by sitting out this past season. So Le'Veon Bell, I'm sorry, man, you played your cards wrong, okay? And it didn't end up working out for him. Now, of course, he still got paid. We're talking about a million dollars, but that's all relative. We're talking about, obviously, the NFL salary cap, so you have to take everything into account here. But overall, for Le'Veon Bell, this was not the best deal on the table, and he, in hindsight, sitting out did not really help him at all. Uh, if if anything. So like I said, he should be thanking Anthony Barr for backing out from the Jets because I don't know if this offer would have been there if Anthony Barr had signed with the New York Jets. And I don't know if another team would have given this much money. Uh, so the Steelers had the better offer. So oh, my overall take again is that I like this deal for the New York Jets. I think they, this significantly does improve the roster. I don't like this too much for Le'Veon Bell because I believe him sitting out uh, did not do much for him. It didn't help him. So that is my take on it. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this signing for the Jets? Uh, I think it's a good signing. I don't think it propels them to the top of the division, but because, again, the Patriots are in that division. But it does significantly improve the roster. Um, but Le'Veon Bell, man, I'm sorry, bro. You played yourself in my DJ Khaled voice. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.